Hi, this is Elsa P at AlsaElsa.com here to offer advice to Mars type personalities who are having trouble um, sustaining relationships. Um, I'm primarily talking about Aries and Scorpio, but also anyone who has Mars um, strongly placed, emphasized in their chart. Anyone who knows that they're attracted to taboo and or um, they like a challenge, they like to conquer and they like to dominate. The thing, the thing with uh, sustaining a relationship when you're like this is once you conquer the thing, you lose interest in it. Um, this is a Mars type personality. I see this all the time with people who target another person's spouse. Okay, a man goes after someone's wife. Once he has separated the woman from her husband and the woman wants to come now and be with him, he loses, he loses interest. Okay, and she's left holding the bag. And this happens the same way if it's a woman targeting a man. Um, the, the Mars person has conquered and now goes on to conquer, you know, the next person and, um, uh, you know they just do that so it, first thing to understand a couple things uh, this is not conscious for everyone there's a lot of people out there who constantly meet someone else's spouse and have no idea that they're driving this they just think they have bad luck or something but some people most definitely do know and I want to give you an example of someone I know or knew like that um, so you can see because you may be like this too um, uh, you may know that uh, it's more important to you to conquer something than to con keep something. And, and as an example, I knew a man with a stellium in Scorpio, and what he liked to do is open, this is the words he used, open a woman sexually. Okay, so he gets a woman who's somewhat repressed, she's not quite uh, aware of the extent of her sexuality. So he'd go in there and uh, rearrange her right from the inside out. He'd spend some number of months or maybe even a year or two with the woman and open her up as he had said. Now once she's liberated sexually, uh, his job's done and he moves on. Now I, I don't judge that at all. I, I, that was what he wanted to do. He was good at it. I don't think he lied to any of the women. I don't even think they really had a complaint. So uh, um, you might as well, you know, at least I admire this about the guy. He knew what he was doing. You know, what he was doing is completely conscious. He knew what he desired and he went after it, which is an, another really important point with Mars type people. We are self directed and we tend to get what we want. So you want to be conscious of what it is that you're after. So let's say that you're after. Uh, uh, one love and you want to sustain a relationship well if that's the case like that's the case for me then I've got to find an outlet for my Mars energy I've got to find you know a war to fight I got to find a hill to climb or whatever okay so in my case um, I satisfy my um, attraction to taboo and my challenge by consulting you know for is one of the ways I do it because I'm exposed to all kinds of see me things and uh, uh, my marriage is out of this. It's, it's, they're isolated. I also go to the gym. You can go to the gym. You can try to best yourself. You know, to have a challenge. You can compete in business. Um, you can, uh, as far as the um, taboo, you can um, study psychology. You can be a private investigator, or you can just be a keen observer of life. The idea here is that your Mars energy has an expression that. Uh, doesn't destroy your relationships. Also be aware that Mars Mars in the Aries form is a hero and, and um, with, with Scorpio, Scorpio is fiercely protective of um, that which it loves. So that right there is another um, uh, expression for Mars energy where it doesn't harm a relationship, where you use your prowess to protect your relationships. So you can see how this can be done. I think this is one of the easiest problems to solve, okay? Uh, because, like I said, Mars people are self directed. We go out and we get what we want, okay? So now, Mars also thinks in tactics. So let me tell you how. Um, doing, you know, if you do it the way I did it, um, there is a tactical advantage in this way. It takes a lot of energy to hunt love and hunt people and hunt energy. Okay, so if you nail down that um, uh, that one piece of your life and you're partnered, then it leaves you everything else to go compete in every other arena. You know, so it does actually give you an advantage because all these other people are out spinning their wheels looking for their next uh, conquest, basically. So uh, to reiterate, uh, or to recap, if you find yourself wanting what someone else has and wanting to compete and needing that, um, that competition and you, and you want to be in a, a sustainable relationship, the thing to do is to find other outlets for your Mars energy and uh, secondly to use your Mars energy to uh, keep your, to fight for your relationship and to protect it. Um, uh, anyway, I think you'll be amazed at how, how good this works. Um, I speak from experience and uh, the next video I'm going to come back and talk about another um, common problem, this one I also have, commitment phobia. So uh, this is Elsa Pete.